I spent some time on Google before we hopped on here together today, and I was looking, I said, well, what are the most popular foods that we here in the U.S. are eating? And I came up with 10 of them, uh, and if you don't mind, I was hoping we could just kind of go down this list and you could give me the thumbs up, thumbs down as to whether or not these foods could contribute to ED. Okay, sure. All right, let's start with number 10, the burrito. I'm assuming that, you know, with, with a burrito, we're talking about a lot of animal-based food, you know, like a lot of meat and cheese and sour cream and that. So from my mind, and, and you know, you could extrapolate. For, I saw The Game Changers, awesome movie, recommended to everyone. And, and some of their work helped influence our study. And Dr. Aaron Spitz, the urologist in that movie, is going to be part of our, our study. Um, the, uh, um, so yeah, so, so even extrapolating from that to me, that's a thumbs down. Next one, donut. Could a donut contribute to ED? Yeah, it's hard to find a situation where donuts are helpful. So <laughs> I'm going to give that a thumbs down as well. Well, uh, number eight on the list, the good old fashioned peanut butter and jelly. You know, I'm a little more mixed on that one. You know, peanut butter, if you just have a nut butter, you know, without all the, because sometimes you get it and it's got all this other stuff thrown into it, but sometimes it's just a nut butter. Uh, and if it could be, maybe it's on whole grain bread, you know, with a little bit of the jelly, maybe that's sort of a kind of a even, but I'm sort of being super optimistic. I can't imagine that the average peanut butter and jelly sandwich is like that. There's probably a lot of white bread and a ton of, ton of the sugary jelly uh, and not the more healthful nut butter. So I'm going to give that like a sort of thumbs down, like 45 degrees down. 45 degrees. Okay. Uh, here's a one. Number seven. Can you get the blue box blues in the bedroom? Good old fashioned a macaroni and cheese. What say you? I say thumbs down. Super fatty cheese uh, and, uh, you know, white, white carb, simple refined carb uh, pasta. Ice cream, milkshakes, the dessert menu, thumbs up, thumbs down for ED. Um, I mean, it thumbs down. <laughs> if you, if, and if, you know, like, honestly, from my hypothesis is, although this would be weird, like if you're on a date and there may be something happening later, you might want to have a salad as part of your dessert. Now, I don't know if that will impact anything in other ways, but to me, that would seem to be stacking the odds the best in your favor, myopically, just from an erectile function standpoint. Gentlemen, be sure to listen to your <laughs> doctors. A uh, lot of irony in this one. Number five, the hot dog. Oh, yeah. Well, um, that's definitely part of the erectile dysfunction starter kit. Um, the, uh, <laughs> the, the highly processed meats, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, I, I do not think, uh, that to me is like two thumbs down. Fried chicken comes in at number four. It's, you know, it's like kind of a bummer. Like I'm sort of hoping that one of these things will be a, at least sort of neutral, but I, I would, fried chicken, I would say is a thumbs down. Number three, I'm not sure that this is going to get any better. Number three, French fries. Yeah, I'm just going to just stay like this <laughs> and, um, you know, I'll change if I need to. <laughs> All right. Number two, hamburger. Any changes? No, no changes uh, from my standpoint. I mean, you can you could talk about the saturated fat, the heme iron, the new 5GC, the cholesterol that's in it, you know, whatever, like maybe, uh, um, if they put, I don't know, sometimes people with mayonnaise on their, on their hamburger, the white bread bun. So for me, that is a hands down. And, down. and the number one most popular food in America Pizza. What say you, Dr. Osfeld? Um, it, thumbs down. But, uh, shocker. Uh, but, you know, it's funny. Like, we, the fellows where, where I work at Montefiore, they have this EKG conference every week. And they get pizza. You know, comes when they have the EKG conference. Sort of, like, kind of incentivize the, incentivizes them to come to the conference. But I made sure that one of the pizzas is vegan. So there's like five, six pizzas, but one of them is vegan and it gets eaten and it's got all kinds of vegetables and has a tomato sauce and everything else. Everything's the same. It just it doesn't have cheese. It has a ton of vegetables on it. So it's kind of, I like it because I think it's a little healthier. Uh, and also it keeps 
them thinking about nutrition and nutrition oriented stuff, even during EKG conference, because I wanted to drill into their heads and into their patients' heads. So to me, with the cheese, all the saturated fat, the white flour, uh, it's a thumbs down. What about if somebody got it with vegan cheese? Would you feel the same way? Um, I probably would. Uh, I'd have to see what's in the vegan cheese. Some of them are healthy. Some of them are have a lot of fat. And I mean, certainly, you know, from perhaps an ethical standpoint or environmental standpoint, that's certainly a plus, but it's not necessarily a plus from a health standpoint. Well, I'll tell you what's a plus is the fact that you have people who are going for that veggie pizza. I mean, people, yeah. you know, up until I, I started hanging uh, around other vegans, it was like you, people see a veggie pizza and they run the other direction. People yeah. who haven't run in years somehow exactly. find it in them to run in the opposite direction to that pepperoni pizza. So good on you, sir. That uh, these same bolts of pizzas. Exactly. I'm, t I'm telling you what, man. I'm telling you what. Uh, and I'm telling you what right now, uh, viewer. <laughs> if you uh, – want to learn more about this, I highly recommend checking out Dr. Osfeld's presentation at the International Conference on Nutrition and Medicine that's coming up July 15th through the 17th. Uh, your presentation, I love this title, Erectile Dysfunction, The Long and Short of It. Fantastic. Oh, well, thank you. You're very generous. Uh, it's, been, it's been interesting, you know, preparing for the talk. Uh, get to learn a lot, so I'm excited to, to share the information. Absolutely. And I, I'm sure you're going to go far more in depth on things than you and I got an opportunity to discuss here today. Dr. Rob Osfeld, thank you so very much, my friend. You are amazing as always. Well, you're incredibly generous. I love being here with you and I love that conference. It's phenomenal. And I, in person, it's terrific. It's the highlight of the year. So, uh, and I'm sure it's going to be amazing remotely as well. So thank you so much for having me.